Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three features of YouTube that every teacher should know how to use. If you're using YouTube in your classroom, you need to know how to do these things. First of all, let's say I've found a great video that I want to show in my class, like calculating tree height. And it's a video all about how to calculate and estimate the height of a tree without climbing up the tree. Well, over here on the right hand side, let's make sure we have control over our subtitles and closed captions. And you can see right now, I have very large captions displayed. Let's go to the settings and let's change those subtitles so that they're not quite so big. You can see right here, I have font size set at 200%. Let's downsize it to 150 or perhaps even 100. You can see there, I can also make them very large at 400%. I'm gonna go back to 100%. And here I can also change the font color, including the font background color. Maybe we'll make them green. Ooh, that's really hard to read. So let's change it back, make it blue. A little bit easier on the eyes to read. There's our font color, background, clarity, and window color and you can see all those other options that we have there for controlling the display of those captions now on a similar note another feature you should know how to use is right here on the right hand side next to that share download save button well let's go to show transcript and you can get a transcript of just about any video that has spoken words in it. And let's say we want to copy all of that. Well, there we go. We can copy all of that and we can toggle those timestamps on or off. So I'm gonna make sure I've copied all of it. And then, I can paste that into a Google Doc or Word Doc or any other document of my choosing. Now, the last feature is one that doesn't appear on every video. It doesn't appear on videos that are made specifically for kids. But if you found another video like this one here, you can use the clipping function. Now, this video is not made for kids. And so we'll see that clipping function and we'll see what this allows me to do is now choose the section of the video that I want to clip. I'm going to choose just that section and now I'm going to share that clip as soon as I've written in the description for it. A clip of the newspapers. And now I have that clip that I can share. I can copy that link. I can put it in Google Classroom or anywhere else that I would typically share a link for a video. So those are three features of YouTube that every teacher should know how to use when using YouTube in your classroom. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.